holder of the nameless. Why give a name to that which you fear most? Does an identity provide you with protection against it? Before you begin the journey for this object, Seeker, you will need a sacrifice. Take any book you wish and black out all the names contained within. Do so without regret or remorse. Do not pity the author or his work. Most importantly, do not pity the names. Now, with your sacrifice in hand, go to any library in any city or country. When you arrive, you may be tempted to ask the librarian to see. The holder of the nameless. But all you would get is a confused blank stare. And in this case, that will get you nowhere. No, Seeker, once you have entered the library of your choice, you must not speak any name. If you do, you will face the wrath of the nameless one. Walk to the section on ancient history. With the book in your hand and all the names struck through, you will notice the shelves begin to grow. The farther you walk, you see that no one else is around you. You will begin to hear a faint and distant humming, first shallow and far off, then deep and brooding. All the while you may fail to notice that all the letters on all the spines of the books have fallen off. Letters are scattered on the ground, blowing in an imperceptible wind. Do not attempt to open any of these books. If you do, you will be frozen immobile to wait for the nameless one to come around and peel your skin off to make more pages to fill his vast volumes. At this point, there are no walls or ceiling to be seen. Continue on your path to wander off is to face a doom no one can know or imagine. You may see other seekers who fell victim to their curiosity, now with only tatters of skin remaining on their muscles. Even though their expressions are blank and their posture calm, you can bet that the horrors they face while they are skinned alive day after day is beyond unbearable. After what may seem like an eternity of walking, you will find yourself in a clearing of sorts. Nothing for a short while but the small piles of letters on the floor. Suddenly, you will come upon a very large book on the floor. On it stands a figure in a heavy hooded cloak. He immediately stops writing once he senses your presence. The pages, you may notice, are crudely sewn together from different strange shapes. This is the skin of failed seekers. Do not let your eyes linger here. The holder does not want you reading what had to be written. Should he catch you, not only will you lose all the objects you have collected, you will be sent back to each holder to die in the trials that you had already prevailed over. You will realize without being able to see into the cloak that the nameless one is looking at you. You must ask it this. What was his name in the beginning? The nameless one will loose itself of its cloak. You will not be able to comprehend any discernible feature. He will look like someone you saw in a past dream. Appearing familiar, yet indistinct at the time, but upon recalling, you only remember a faint blur. The holder will tell you of his choosing the objects, and the cursing and blessing of each one. Of the way he delights in destruction and mayhem. The nameless one will relate in excruciating detail the woes that their gathering brought upon worlds past. Ask again. What was his name? The creature will beckon you onto the book. You mustn't do this. Hold back at all costs. The holder has been said to even take the form of someone you have loved greatly, but lost. If you pass this trial, the nameless one will tell you that his name is lost to all but a legion now. That even he, the keeper and destroyer of names, can no longer contain it. You will learn that Legion took the Holder's own name using the objects he collected. The 
that long ago the Nameless One protected the outer realm of his dwelling. That once Legion struck him down and stole his name, that he was banished by him to forever be a holder. What he wants to give you now is essential to their gathering. At this point he will rush to you and through you. You will lose conscientiousness. Only will you survive if you brought along your sacrifice. Everyone who possesses the names you crossed out inside the book will have an inexplicable tragedy befall them. There is no control over this. It will simply happen, and there is nothing you can do to stop it. Is your journey worth the pain of so many innocent people? You will wake up hours later with a terrible headache that will never, ever go away. That is because inside you, you now know his name. Legion was never offered this object. It will never leave you, and you will never be able to speak it unless all the objects are in your possession. Once you do, God help us all. The name you have inside you, the one that belongs to him, is now Object 1072 of 2000. Does knowing his name make him any less terrifying?